So here are our points for the spleen channel, a foot tying in. Our entry point is spleen one. Right, we know there's a branch from stomach 42 to spleen one. Our exit point, spleen 21. Right, and spleen 21 to heart one, which is located in the center of the axilla, is the exit branch. Right, we also know that there's a deep connection from the spleen primary channel to the heart, as we talked about when we discussed the pathway of the channel. Our she cleft point is spleen eight. Yuan source point is spleen three. This is a Yuan source point on a yin channel, so it is also the shu stream point. And in this case, it is also the Harari point, the earth point on the earth channel. Our Luwu connecting point, spleen four, Gong Sun, the front Mu point, liver 13, and the back shoe point, urinary bladder 20. And we see here our Jing well, spleen one, sometimes called Ting well, but Jing well, Ying spring, fire point, spleen two, Shu stream point, Earth point, Yuan source point, spleen three. Jing river point, spleen five is our metal point. And our Hussi point, spleen nine, our water point. Spleen one, Yin Bai, hidden white. The point is on the medial side of the great toe, one tenth of a sun proximal to the nail of the great toe. Strengthens the spleen, regulates blood, and of course, calms the mind. Of course, as a Jing well point, we expect it to have some effect on the shin. Indication, abdominal distension, bloody stools, menorrhagia, uterine bleeding, mental disorders, dream disturbed sleep, and convulsion. Should be mentioned here that uh, menorrhagia is uh, a menstrual period that is that occurs on a regular cycle, but usually consists of heavy amounts of bleeding and or prolonged bleeding. Uh, and this makes sense when you think about the functions of the spleen, right? Not only is it closely associated with the production of blood, but as we said, it holds blood in the vessels. So in a case where someone has excessive uh, menstrual bleeding, we can think that perhaps the spleen is involved. Certainly, we have to look for other signs and symptoms, but this is one place we can look, is the strength of the spleen chi and its ability to hold the blood in the vessels. Take a quick look at our foot, right? Spleen one, right? On the medial side of the great toe, one-tenth of a sun proximal to the nail. We have spleen two, yes. On the uh, just distal to the metatarsal phalangeal joint. Spleen three is just proximal to the head of the first metatarsal, the distal head, right? Distal end of the first metatarsal. And spleen four is just distal to the proximal end of the first metatarsal, right here. And remember we said they run, these points run along the medial aspect of the foot at the border, at the junction of where the skin changes color. It's right along the medial side of the foot. Spleen three. Tai Bai, great white. This is the earth point, Shu stream point, and the Yuan source point. So Shu stream, Yuan source, Harari point, earth point on the earth channel. It's proximal and inferior to the head of the first metatarsal bone at the junction of the red and white skin, or we can say on the line where the chin skin changes color. Strengthens the spleen, resolves dampness, resolves damp, and strengthens the spine. And we can see the connection through the sinew channel, right, of this, and the spleen to the spine, and we can see the relationship of the spleen to dampness, right? So we, we strengthen the spleen, not only will we pro not produce dampness, but by strengthening the spleen's transformative and transporting function, we can resolve dampness that has accumulated. Indicated in cases of gastric pain, abdominal distension, constipation, dysentery, 
diarrhea, vomiting, borborygmish, sluggishness, tiredness. I do have clients that come in and complain of just feeling like they can't move. They're just sluggish and tired. And usually when people have dampness, they complain of everything feeling heavy. It just It's so hard to lift my head off the pillow in the morning. Or my limbs feel so heavy and I can't move. That's a, a sign that you might want to look for other signs and symptoms of dampness or at least do a differential assessment to see if uh, dampness is a possibility, is how, you know, assess the nature, the spleen chi, assess other signs of, of dampness. And as we talked about with uh, the stomach channel, right, one of the signs is that tight, squeezing type of headache, frontal headache, with a heavy head and heavy eyelids can also be signs of dampness. There are three interpretations of the meaning of the name Great White Tai Bai for spleen three. One is that the flesh at this point is especially white, uh, especially bright, we could say. Two is that the planet Venus shares the same name, Tai Bai. It's in the western sky and is associated with the metal element. This is the earth point and can nourish earth to nourish metal. So you can think about the the elemental relationship here as a reason for the name of the point, right? Great white, meaning it can nourish metal, which is associated with the color white, yes. So nourishing earth strongly can help nourish metal. And there's a mountain in China called Tai Bai. And this point is right next to the mountain uh, well, it's really not next to the ball of the foot, but it's next to the um, MTP joint, right? The metacar metatarsal phalangeal joint, which if we look at the toe, there is quite a large uh, mound for most of us on the foot there. Spleen four, Gong Sun, yellow emperor. This is the Luo connecting point master point of the Chong Mai, the penetrating vessel. In a depression, distal and inferior to the base of the first metatarsal bone at the junction of the red and white skin. That is the traditional description. I do like Deadman's use of the term where the skin changes color. Actions of spleen four. Tonifies stomach and spleen. Regulates the penetrating vessel or the Chong. Stops bleeding dispels fullness, removes obstructions, regulates menses, and pacifies the stomach. Right? If we think about the functions of the spleen, right, dominating transportation and transformation of liquid and solid products, overseeing and beginning the process of the production of qi and blood, dominating the muscles, right, qi being essential in helping control the function of the intestines, right? So here we see a point, yes, that that encompasses a lot of those functions of the organ itself. It's going to tonify the stomach and spleen, stop bleeding, right? Dispel fullness, remove obstructions, can help regulate the menses by, by helping strengthen chi, right? So indicated in cases of gastric pain, vomiting, abdominal pain, cramping, and borborygmus. The name Gong Sun was the family name of Wong Di. And people postulate that this point that joins the two earth channels together, right, the, the spleen and the stomach, it's another connection that strengthens the connection between the spleen and the stomach, which rules our ability to assimilate food and nourishment, but also because of the spleen's housing of the yi, our ability to assimilate thought and ideas, um, think about them. This point connects the earth channels, and it's as important to the element earth as Wang Di is to Chinese history. So the point has the name Gong Sun, 
this is also a very uh, important point, and you find you'll find I think that you uh, that you will use it in your practice. Spleen six, San Yin Jiao, three leg meeting. This is the meeting point of three leg Yin, spleen, liver, and kidney. So we'll see functions of this point in uh, affecting those three zong. It's three sun directly above the tip or the prominence of the medial malleolus on the posterior border of the tibia. We see that there are some strong actions. There are many actions. Strengthens the spleen, resolves damp, promotes function of the liver and smooth flow of liver chi, tonifies kidneys, nourishes blood and yin, benefits urination, regulates menstruation, eliminates stasis, stops pain, and calms, calms the mind. Its indications are abdominal pain, dysmenorrhea or painful periods, irregular menstruation, uterine bleeding, prolapse of the uterus. Here's a case right where we see perhaps spleen chi deficiency leading to a prolapse edema or swelling, hernia, another type of prolapse, nocturnal emission, genital pain, right, both the liver channel ha has an associated with, association with the genitals as does the spleen sinew channel, and motor impairment of the lower extremity, dizziness, vertigo, which can be related to dampness and insomnia. This point is a strongly downbearing point, and as such, it is contraindicated in pregnancy.